So, Erna, um, welcome. Today we are joined by Erna Smeekins, who is one of our finalists in the NLP Awards. Um, uh, well, uh, welcome, Erna. I've been reading your nomination. You're a finalist in the public service and community um, nominations for the awards. And I, I'm lucky enough to be able to read the nominations. Your nomination is, is very inspirational. Um, so I wonder if you could tell us a little bit more about what you're doing. I know um, one of the quotes is NLP on every street corner. Yeah. So tell what, us tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, that that's what we do once uh, I I uh, came in contact with NLP when uh, when I worked on a farm with people with uh, with. Um, I don't know how to say in English, but they got a stroke or something. They oh, could not. Yeah. They they could not uh, react uh, as they were used to anymore. Yeah. And then uh, we had beautiful conversations in the field, and it's raining a lot, also in the Netherlands. Yeah. So people could not see the tears. And then people said often to me, "Anna, you should be coach." And I didn't know what it was. So it's it's quite a long story. But then uh, I oh. That's only one time. I get a chance to um, to follow an NLP uh, education. Somebody offered it to me and uh, I took it with both hands. I had no idea what NLP was, but it really, it really changed my life completely because I, I didn't know, you know, I had, I had quite a difficult marriage behind me and I didn't know and I didn't realize what, what, what I did and didn't do. And during my NLP education, I realized very intensively, I'm a teacher as well. So why didn't I learn this at school? Why can't I teach this to children? And then um, I, I lost my job and I was burned out. I was uh, a, 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 a alone, a mother alone with four boys, yeah. very adventurous uh, boys who did all kinds of very difficult things. So I couldn't work for all, full time and uh, arrange my job as a mother for these boys. Mm. Uh, what was a job full time too? So um, I lost my job and I, I got burned out and uh, I, I really got in a quite difficult uh, situation in my life. Mm. And then I met uh, people uh, where on a place where uh, food was delivered because we really run out of money completely. And then uh, in the Netherlands, there is a system that you, that you, get, uh, that, that you get food. Yeah. Um, so I was there and I met so many people who in one way or another lost their road in their lives. Yeah. And I really, I really was shocked to, to meet the Netherlands in a very different different way. I always say in, in April I was com some kind of management. I, I, some, I, I really was somebody on the, on the farm where I worked. And in September of the same year, I really was a very poor, lonely mother um, with four boys and living from uh, um, government money and, and in the row for getting food because we could not eat anymore. And then uh, I was so, so grateful for the NLP tools I was learning. And then uh, the idea grew the, to, to, to become a teacher. I, I'm a teacher, but become yeah. an NLP trainer. Yeah. And I discussed it with the man who, uh, who offered me the NLP training. And they said, okay, Anna, we think you have some talents in that, uh, on that piece. So what's your idea? And I said, my big dream is I'm so grateful for what you offered to me. I like to pay it forward. And I like to offer 12 people in my world, in my life, people without any money, the, 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 the possibility to get these NLP tools. And they admit, they say, okay, if you do it, we make it possible. So they gave their room and they gave their all their materials. And that was in 19 or 2010, the first training I gave to 12 people with, without any money and we said you don't have to pay but but you pay it forward by doing uh, something in our community for free something you really 
want to give and to offer to our society. And yeah, so in fact, so it started. And uh, in 2011, I, I uh, was certificated for my traineeship. So I was trainer, NLP trainer, and I was so touched by the work we started. And I, yeah, I, I, I climbed up a very little bit. So I earned thousand euros a, a month by, uh, by asking people uh, to pay a little bit in these NLP, uh, NLP tools. And uh, then we raised the Ten Bucks Academy. It's Tintjes Academy, so as we say in, in the Netherlands. And, and there we, we started uh, until the day of today uh, by giving people with very less or no money to follow NLP with certification and everything for 10 euros a day, um, if they can afford it. And on that way, we really helped hundreds of people already to, to really know NLP and, and to change their lives. So that's what we do. It's, it's so beautiful and so inspirational. And, that, and that, whole, that whole ethos of paying it forward. Yeah. So everybody that, that comes on one of your courses for 10 euros or for, or for nothing, they they pay it forward in some way by giving yeah. back to the society. Yeah, and that gives really very beautiful things because so many things happened after this start that uh, I, last year, just before Corona broke out, I really nearly was burned out again because we, we did so many things and I really did not know how to stop it because, yeah, things go. So, in fact, Corona helped me to realize oh stop I'm I'm over my tax and I really have to stop with uh, with with a, a kind of a, quite a lot of uh, activities I, I was doing so I'm giving them back now to people so they can uh, they can put it forward and and I can uh, focus on my trainings <laughs> Lovely. And, and so that's something so you give you give all of that. Do you make that part of your normal courses? So there are some people that are paying. Because otherwise, how do you how do you afford to support yourself? In the beginning, we we really needed very less money. I'm, I mean, when you are used to live from government money, then you have a thousand euros a month. So if if we have that, if we can collect that with all the things we do, we are happy. I'm a little bit, uh, I, I made steps, so we live with a little bit more. It's not, not on, that, on the edge anymore. So mm. we have 12, 1500 euros a month and mm. that's enough. We live quite a sober life, so we don't need much. And because we did what we do or we do what we, we do what we did, people saw what we did. And so we have sometimes um, people who, can pay. They can pay 1,000 euros or 750 euros. We always work in, in the range where people can't afford the, the, the very expensive NLP courses. Yeah. And sometimes we work with teams in social work. Yeah. Uh, we also train uh, sometimes teachers. I'm, I'm a teacher, so my heart is in education, in schools. I really, really would love it when, when children learn on a very easy way as, as normal communication, NLP thinking, NLP like, I don't know, it does not need to be, to be called NLP, just making a rapport, all these things. Yeah. And so we have, we have some uh, really paid uh, uh, things. Yeah. And also our, our government, our city government sometimes gives us, uh, gives us jobs. Then yes. we can work with people who are uh, in the in 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 the government money. I don't know how the, how you call it in English. We we, no, it's the same. we have we have benefits. Yeah, so benefit. Then the local local uh, government yes. gives you money every month. Yeah. Okay. That, okay. That's what we have. Outke I don't know the outkering. It, it's in Dutch. Hmm. Um, and when people are there very long time. Um, life seems to stop so people don't move much and mm -hmm. and we 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 take them 
by the hand and, and we take them on adventure and we don't force them. We just talk to them and find out what's your mission. What's, what's what you, I, I always say, what's your, what's your present you have to, to, uh, to give away in the world. In fact, what, what's what you meant, what, what, for what are you meant to be? Yeah. So please live that because then you feel happy and, and you can be grateful. And then the, the world is enjoying your, your presence. Yeah. So that's what we do. It's it, beautiful. So what does it mean to you uh, to be nominated for this award? I was totally surprised. It, first, when I got this mail, I really thought it's a hoax or something. Somebody is, sometimes you get this, this, this strange mail. So uh, people put, I don't know what money on your account in bitcoins. And I always put it in spam. So when I thought you are nominated, I thought, yeah, of course. <laughs> How? And then there came a second message and I realized I have to look because Maybe this is true, but I really had no idea who, um, I mean, what do we do? Uh, how can anybody see what, what we do in, in the Netherlands? It was something in London. So then I, I found out what it was and I really was astonished. And somebody asked me my photograph and then I was a little bit my photograph. So what's going on there? <laughs> and then one of my students came to me and she said, you are nominated, aren't you? I said, how the hell do you know? And then she, she get it like the, 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 the stars <laughs> in her eyes and she said, I did. And I really, I was so shocked. It was so, such a big surprise. And then I really felt so honored. I, I can't really, I, yeah, I, I'm, I mean, what do we do? It's, it's not that much uh, of, of big thing. And then there was the photograph and the invitation of going to London, but we can't afford this. I mean, it's far. That kind of things, we can't afford ourselves, but it was really, and it is really, I'm really, really very surprised and grateful that, that the work we do is, is seen in the world. So, so that's good in a way that, that now the awards are going to be virtual, you'll be able to attend. So. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, many people shared it on Facebook. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, this is our teacher. Look, look. She's... <laughs> but yeah, it makes me shy as well. It's, uh, but it, it really feels great and uh, feels very recognized. And uh, yeah, and I'm especially I'm very grateful that that. that that you are existing and doing these things. <laughs> really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. So, so who or maybe what has inspired, who has inspired you on your NLP journey? Um, I'm inspired very much by His Holiness Dalai Lama. Uh, I had a chance to, to work with him. Um, he, he has been to the Netherlands and I was in India in the 80s. Um, and in the NLP world, I'm very inspired by Ted Evers. He's my trainer, my teacher, and he's always here on my shoulder, talking in my ears, telling me, Anna, <laughs> do this, do it. <laughs> so he really, he really pulled me by the ear so many, many times. And he teached me his, his quietness, but also his anger and his but also his, his so loving kindness for people, mm -hmm. his, his, his patience with, with things people can, can handle with and have to deal with. And he endless, he could take time for people. And that mm -hmm. learned me a lot because I'm quite uh, not so patient. <laughs> <laughs> you have your little guide there. Yes. That's and I, I was in training by Peter Dalmeyer. It's, it's all, all in the Netherlands. Yeah. So Peter Dalmeyer, he also teaches me a lot of things. He really is a storyteller. And uh, my grandfather was a really grand storyteller. My father was, and I think maybe I am as well. 
and I love his way of combining music and NLP, which is very beautiful combination. And he has a very beautiful institute in a, in a city not so far away from us. So he's always very lovely in in yeah, in in includes in to include yeah me and and our people. Oh, but we're talking about inspiration and 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 written as part of your nomination. It says. Because of Erna, many people in my hometown are now inspired to become better communicators and the listeners, be more gentle and be kind to themselves and others. Yeah. That's what you're doing for other yeah. people. Yeah, I, I realized that we really, we, we throw some stones in the city. We, we did. I, I realized. I, I, I mean, what, what we did, it was not only NLP because because of the pay it forward, people started to do their things. And um, that resulted in, in um, we had some people who were confronted on parties and people said, what are you doing these times? And they say, ah, oh, I'm, um, um, I, I, what's working for free? I'm, oh, yeah, pro bono? Yeah, pro bono. I, I work pro bono in, 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 uh, in this organization. Oh, that people and the job do you have a job and that's so painful and people don't have jobs yeah. and do their work so we had we we created a group uh, who was thinking of how can we organize it in a different way that we can earn some money uh, in the same time when we are paid by the government but we we can earn some money by um, by doing what uh, by, by living our talent and making some money with that so we can pay back the government we can pay back something of our yeah. of the money what we do and that, that we we puzzled a year um on that idea because that's quite difficult with all the rules they've made here in the netherlands <laughs> but we had some people in the government in, in our local government who really were enthusiastic about this plan and we started a cooperation and um, people were so eager and so enthusiastic because now they didn't have a job, but they did earn money with their talent. So they really started to live their mission with all the, 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 the things we could not do. But sometimes they have bodies which are not working properly or minds which not work properly or yeah. both which work not properly. So yeah. they have a very less amount of energy. Yeah. But nevertheless, they can do something. Yeah. So we organized this and um, yeah, that went also a kind of viral. So people from all the Netherlands came to watch how we did that, how we made that realistic. Yeah. So in, in, at this time, there are over 20 corporations all over the country for people with these problems. And yeah. Yeah, that took the most of my energy last three years, which made that I <laughs> was nearly over the edge again. Yeah. Because we also, uh, we, we made it, um, yeah, we, we made a national uh, committee for, for uh, taking care of all these corporations. So yeah. over 300 people in our, in our country are working in these kind of corporations and, and live their mission. So I, and, and we train them in, in, um, in how to, to make a little business. And yeah. in that also we, yeah, we bring our NLP. So we make, we, we, we teach people whatever we can on whatever occasion we, uh, we can do that. And yeah, that's also something I realized that, that yeah, we, we did that. We, we organized it, we, we uh, invented it and we put it in the world and yeah, that's really crazy. And, and so empowering. It's, it's lovely to be able to empower others yeah. to make the best of themselves. And, and, and sometimes like, it's even only a little, little thing that they need, isn't it? Just to give them that nudge forward and, and be able to do so much. It's, it's just so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really, really I love to work with people, I always say, who are hit by life, mm. because then I don't have to work three months for, before they put off their masks or take out their clothes, their, their jacket. Mm. Work with people who are so, um, 
gentle already and and they don't have to keep up ego because yeah. if you if if you lose everything or have lost everything if you uh, have have dealt with addiction or with 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 violence or with all the shit in life mm. then there comes a kind of pureness mm. a kind of gratefulness and a kind mm. of simplicity or it and and not but but in the in the pure in a beautiful way yeah. so if we work with people we work with with the true people yeah yeah and i really love that yeah you're dealing you're, you're dealing with authenticity aren't authenticity you? Yeah. yeah and it's not packed or wrapped people are okay this is it we can't sink more deep <laughs> we only can go up so that gives a lot of hope and we laugh a lot and we cry a lot and yeah it's it's really yeah i think that's my place in this world for for making this possible and have a nice sober life where we don't need much and then even in these times of corona which really is quite uh, challenging Mm -hmm. We can stay so grateful for the birds who are still singing and the flowers who are still coming and the rain when it's coming after a dry period and, and we have each other and yeah. in silence we keep hands. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, it's, it's, as I said, it's so beautiful and, and so inspirational, the, the work that you're doing and the, and the impact that you're making in, in, um, in the Netherlands is just amazing. So, <laughs> Where, I mean, you, you've already mentioned about NLP and education being a teacher. Where would you like to see NLP in the future? It would be uh, one of my big dreams is to teach NLP to becoming teachers. Because we worked in, in schools with teachers and then and, and we also worked with, with the children. But then it was once a week, an hour. That's, it, it has to be daily normal. Yeah. So how beautiful would it be when the teachers are all trained in NLP um, so they can bring it to the children because yeah. when all the next generations can live this from the pureness which NLP also is because there's a lot of ego in, in and, and about money and things but, but the pure things then I really think the world can change. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I, I totally yeah. agree with you there. Totally agree with you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anna. Um, your, the work you're doing it is beyond words. It, it's just inspirational. And, and I really hope that, um, that, that the community understands more now about the work that you're doing. Uh, so thank you so much. Um, for the contribution that you are making to the NLP community and to society. We, we really, really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for what you are doing because you, we, you, you take up people and, and let show the world, hey, this is what people do. And yeah, we can't do that. So thank you as well. Thank you. Very much. <laughs>